What's going on guys? Welcome to this week's or you know today's meal prep. So what I'm gonna be doing today is gonna be super simple, uh, minimal ingredients, really quick, get you in out of the kitchen, but it's gonna be a pepper steak recipe. So um, really you just need steak, peppers, some rice, and a few, se few seasonings, not very much. Um, there's tons of variation you can do to this recipe, different seasonings, all that type of stuff. This is just one that I like. Um, and there's also gonna be like some alternative ingredients you guys can use. But basically, so I have some strip steak, and then I also have, I went to Costco, and they had these New York strip steaks. So I'm gonna trim some of the fat off of those. Yeah, I know there are probably people gonna be like, that's a, that's a pretty nice cut of meat to be putting into a pepper steak. But it's what I like. You can use flank steak, chuck steak, um, back in the day, I probably would have used like round steak, right? Bottom round, top round, because those are cheap. But again, that's up to you. I got a couple green peppers, got a couple red peppers, and then I just have this simple boil in rice. So you can use this, you could use like cauliflower rice, you could use, you don't have to use any rice at all, you could do more vegetables, right? There's like baby corn people put in it, mushrooms, onions, um, different, kinds, different kinds of peppers. All right, all kinds of stuff you can add to this recipe. That's up to you, but this is the way I'm making it. And I hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, check out the video and I'll do a little commentary, but hope you enjoy. Because I'm cooking so much, I'm gonna do two batches of this, or I'm gonna have two pans going. So I got my peppers here, do a little avocado oil, turn it to medium high heat, let that heat up for a minute or so, and start cooking the peppers. So for this recipe and this video, I wanted to do a little voiceover with a little bit of energy because it's been a while since I've done one, right? Not not that monotone stuff. Let's give this recipe a little, little pep, a little spice because there isn't much spice or much seasoning in the recipe, but that's nice, right? It keeps it simple. I don't want, I don't like to make a bunch of recipes where it's like I'm reading a novel, right? So this one's extremely simple. Like I said, you got salt, pepper, you're gonna have some garlic, you're gonna have some, oh, what else is it, garlic? Ginger, right? But there's also other seasonings you can add if you would like. So I had to uh, make this in two different pans. I'm making one for myself and I'm making uh, some meals for my wife. So this recipe is mostly just you standing around stirring the, the beef and the uh, peppers together, right? You could also add onions, you could add mushrooms, you could add all different types of vegetables, different peppers, whatever you want. And here what we're doing with the little mixture, right? Or the little marinade, whatever you want to call it. It is low sodium soy sauce, just some sugar, and then it is some cornstarch. And that's going to be split between these two batches. And again, you're just stirring, you're simmering, and then it's going to it's going to get thick just like this and it's going to it's going to thicken and and cover all that beef and peppers. Pepper steak. Um, but there's also something called amino um, Liquid aminos, right? I used to use those, so you can use those as a replacement for your soy sauce. Ooh, I gotta stop, that looks so good. It was tasty. Mm. Now time to prep, not prep, package. Packaging now. So for, uh, but yeah, you could use the liquid aminos. Uh, for my meals, I'm doing five meals. I'm doing lunch or I could eat them for dinner. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, right? So I'm doing about nine to 10 ounces of the beef and peppers. So there's also juice mixed in with that, uh, the weight of the peppers. So it's probably around, you know, seven ounces of, of beef 
of that pepper steak, it's gonna vary a little bit. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at the macros. Again, like I said at the beginning, you can use different types of beef. It's just with this, with the strip steak, it stays so tender and juicy. Um, I'm eating one right now as I'm doing this recording. It was, it was really good. So I highly recommend this. And then for her meal, she's getting about five to six ounces of the mixture. Uh, then for rice, I'm doing a half a cup of packed white rice. Right? For her, uh, a little bit less than a half cup. My time has expired though. I'm I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. More videos to come, probably, right? Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Thank you.